Hi, I'm Dustin Brown, professional hockey player, and today's pro tip of the day is checking. When to use checking, in my opinion, you should check whenever you can. It's a very fun thing to do and it makes it a lot more difficult on the opponent. Lining up a check is a very difficult thing to do. It's probably, lining up a check probably happens three to five seconds before you deliver the check. And the higher speed you go, the harder it gets. Being off in your miscalculation of lining this up can result in you totally missing a guy or, if you line them up right, be a devastating hit. I've been, I've been hit by smaller guys, knocked down. I've also knocked down and hit bigger guys. Hitting is not about how strong you are, how big you are. It's more about the timing and how you transfer your power. The best example of the technique for how I use the hit is if he's my opponent and I have him lined up, you want to start with a low center of gravity so you get down nice and low and compact. And as you come into him, and you make contact, you want to come from your back leg. It's again about transfer of power. That's where all your power, if you want to drive through him, you're, if I skate into him like this, I'm not going to go very far. You have to get low, get all your power on your back leg. And as you make contact, you transfer into him and up. Now the keys to this are keeping your elbow down. You want to hit, make contact with your shoulder, but from your shoulder up. If you get your elbow up, it's going to get called for an elbowing penalty or a charging penalty or some sort of penalty. The key, like I said, you have to keep your shoulder down, but you want to come up with it into his chest. And that's all about transferring your weight. The things you want to stay away from are targeting the head. In the last couple of years, they're really cracking down on headshots for the safety of the players. If you hit anybody in the head, it doesn't matter if it's with your shoulder or your elbow, anything at all, you're going to be penalized and possibly kicked out. The best way to do that is find a point in the guy's chest and aim for that spot. A lot of the time is you're going to be hitting a guy from the side. You want to go shoulder on shoulder. The other things to remember when you're doing this is it, uh, it comes down to about timing. If you are off by, if he's skating in here and I'm off by a second, I'm going to get the back side of him. Lining a guy up is not not very easy. This is going to be a trial and error. You're going to have to try in games. You're going to miss guys. You're going to, I'm playing the NHL and I still miss guys every game. The, the key to this though is you have to kind of picture where he's going to be with the puck in maybe three to four seconds. If you can figure out the, the speed and his options, he can cut back on me now like that and I'd be going this way. If he's going forward, I have him angled off. I know he can't cut back and then I can hit him. Those are a few of the little tips. Again, the one thing you really want to stay away from is hitting the head. You're going to be penalized, you're going to be kicked out, and it's not the best way to play hockey. You can make clean, hard checks, shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to chest, and some of my best checks are dead center in the guy and he gets his wind knocked out of him. I've also been checked that way and it's not, the, it's not very fun. I'd re much rather get shoulder on shoulder, but if you can get him in the chest, it, that is a devastating blow to him and the puck will be removed from his stick. I'm Dustin Brown, and I'll see you on the ice.